today we're going to be doing Leona Lewis I See You. It's been requested by absolutely dozens of you and I really hope you like. I'm as close as I can get with what I've got but I really hope you can take something from it and add your own bits if it's not perfect. Now I've got the camera angled so that you can see the floor and not everything else because there's not much of a view up there and look I've got my little thing in my hair. There's a pug there just on the dressing gown she decided she wanted to be with us but the, she's sitting on a lamp box and it was too cold for her so I'll put the dressing gown on there anyway let's get cracking so I've based the face with a bit of that and a bit of that and this one's NC25 and I've used a darker shade than I normally do because I feel like it's too light my other stuff and it wouldn't have made the look look very good I wanted to get like a darker shade <clears throat> and I've used a bit of that but I'll go over that in a minute so both of those together I'll always mix them so it's like more like a tint and moisturizer rather than a foundation because they're too very thick then I'm gonna crack on so I've talked well enough but there you go there's the look so it gets darker a little bit lighter with a bit of gold and a bit of blue and then a white so let's crack on I've used a primer and this is what I'm using don't get scared it's it's actually my primer now look, don't ever wax. See the red? Took the skin clean off and it's stinging. So do bear with us. I'm going to just pop a bit of this on. I'm going to put that all over the eyelid. Try and get into the corner as much as I can. For this, you could put any dark eyeshadow on. Like a, um, a dark creamy eyeshadow or a dark matte eyeshadow. Whatever you've got, as long as it goes on the bottom as a base. My eyebrow is killing. I decided that I was sick because every time I pluck my eyebrows, I still end up with hair that I've missed and it's horrible. So I was going to wax them and then that way that might have pulled out every single hair that I had. But nope, it didn't and it hurt and it's took the skin off. So I'm not well impressed. I'm just going to take a blender brush here and I'm just going to go back and forwards until I get right in there and get this base on. I just want something dark to work from. Plus, in the video, it doesn't look like she's got any eye li liquid liner on. So I wanted to get as dark as I could towards the lash line. Without having to put anything on under there. Because the one I have got is too stubby and it won't, it won't put any eyeliner under there unless I go find a sharpener. So this is perfect. So I'm bringing this up and out. And in the video, it looks like she's got like that kind of thing going on. It's not up and down like that. It actually has like a flow to it. So let's hope. And I'm using a lot of different things on this one. But I'm going to bring this out anyway a little bit here. Not a lot, but a little bit because I'm going to blend in a minute. So just get that up and out. And you want to come as far out as you can toward the end of the eyebrow so it's got a little bit of an outer part and we're going to colour that in a blue shade but underneath I've got a little bit of this on my finger there and I'm just going to gently line it and this is just so that when I put the eyeshadow underneath it's got the same effect as it has on the upper eyelid you don't need a lot just a little bit For this bit here, you could easily use a pencil eyeliner, just a, a creamed black pencil eyeliner, but this is what I'm using, you see? It's on my little sample charts, because I'm busy getting it custom made to the way I like it. So, what we've got next, I wanted to do a bit of blue, but I'm using, it's a dark shade, I've been messing about on my hand, look. This is probably going to go completely overboard. Same brush as I put the black on with. It's going to dab a bit of the dark blue all over. This is by MAC. <coughs> I've been having tickle cough attacks, which are really embarrassing. I got one right before I was meant to go on QVC in the US. And I had to quickly get some water. But it didn't really help. But luckily, when I finally got on there, it, for some reason it had just disappeared, which is good. Because it was embarrassing. 
So you can hang on, let's get back. So you've got your base like that, and I've got dark blue all over it. Go right toward the lash line so you've got no gaps, as best you can. And then while I'm under there, I'm going to get some, a little brush. Just have it there, where's it gone? It's under me. There you go, I'm going to use a pencil brush by MAC. Take the blue again. Gently go underneath, like that. Go right the way in, because we're going to be putting some more colours there as well, so it'll blend out and get a much better looking. Then I'm going to take my brush. Is that the one I was using? No, it's not. There it is. I'm using Ben Nye Peacock. It's number 19. Get a really good amount on there like that. And you just want to pat that on. And just keep going like that and remember I'm leaving out a corner a little bit dark but we've got to go over that with some white anyway so it's going to blend out a lot better so don't be worrying at this point so there you go you've got your starter up and we're going to get some white on there now so I used a big brush da -da, MAC 227 and I'm dipping in a white. Any white eyeshadow will do it. My, matte or shimmery. This one here, it's called strobe. And I'm gonna pat that on under the eyebrow bone. Like that. Ow, that hurts. See what I do for yous? My eyebrow is peeling. That looks terrible. Oh. Anyway, we'll get that on there. So I'm just going down and I'm going on top of the top of the colour. So, just like that, on top of the top of the colour. So you don't have such a harsh line look. Get it rid of it. Now, I'm not happy about my eyebrow. I've completely painted that in. Look, with a load of white stuff. Just going to get rid of that with a bit of wet wipe. But we don't want to get rid of too much, do we? Because then I'll be ended up with a funny looking brow. With foundation missing on it. So... Now, because I've got no skin there, look, it's gone pink. You really shouldn't try that at home. I, I would do a tutorial to show you how to do it, but I clearly don't know how myself, so we won't be doing that in a hurry. If I find a good way at home, I will show you. Anyway, we're taking some more white, this time on a blendy brush, and I'm going to pop that right in the inner corner like that and give it a good swizzle and then pop it over so you've got light lighter and then a really dark sorry lighter light and dark so you've got that kind of two-tone effect going on looks different but it's not it's just the lightning here it's irritating okay now I'm going to pop a little bit of gold on top of that you don't need to this is just a exaggerate the gold and the blue because it's got a gold tone but it's not coming through as much as I'd like it so I'm going to pop on top of that a little bit of gold that type of gold is like a greeny gold just to give the sparkle just add something nice just a little touch now for the white again where have I gone so go back in Really give it a good blend. Ow, that's so sore. Really wish I hadn't have done that, but I did. Anyway, now that you've done that, take your pencil brush, go back in your blue at the bottom, same brush, dab it in. Best if you do it damp because then it won't flick into your eye. But we're gonna go over the top of the blue on the bottom, like that. Leave out a corner as much as you can. Then I do need it. get rid of that. I'm just wet wiping as I go and then I'm going to dip into the white again and then I'm going to go right on the inner corner on the lower lash line and I'm going to blend it ow blend it in my eyes feel really funny tonight I'm doing a valentine's day look in a moo so as soon as this one's done that's what I'm going to be doing and something else for the website look how red the eyes gone because the white is just poked into it. 
So I'm putting a bit of black liner on, I'm just using Urban Decay Zero. And as you can see, I can't do my upper tight line with it because it's so blunt. So luckily, I'm going to just aim it. And I'm just putting a little bit on, don't want too much. Sudi's watching yours. Which it was. She's the only one with a collar on because she's not even going to go out. We'll have to put her on a lead because she just runs after everyone. Now, let's get some blush and stuff on. So, I'm taking this. It's Glam Bronze by L'Oreal. And this one is... Blondes. 301. Dip it in. Doesn't matter where it goes. And I'm just going to gently pat. And don't worry about being too dark. We're going to blend that out a bit with something exciting. It's a new product I picked up. I actually got it in Bloomin' Days while I was in New York. It's quite nice. Just I'm going around here as well because I want that kind of tan thing going on. And my skin hasn't got a tan so I have to pretend I have got one by making one. So that's that. Now, this is the fun part. NARS Luxa. These can be funny. Sometimes they can sting your skin. But from where I'm standing today and stinging already, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just get it and I'm going to pot it on like that. It doesn't transfer to my skin very well. We could brush it on with a foundation brush would be ideal. I'm using a stippling brush and I'm just going to gently push that back into the hairline so I've got that glow going on. Put a bit there that and I even put a little bit down in here in the inner triangle part of the face because then you get that nice highlighting look now for the lips the lips are fun they're very very light so already I've got a bit of foundation on there, I'm going to leave it. And I'm using this and it's by Rimmel, it's 206 Nude Pink. It's not as nude as I would like it to be but that'll do. It actually smells like really funny childhood bubblegum. I don't know if that makes sense but that's how it smells. And then on top of that, I've got a choice of two lip glosses that I've picked that match it a little bit. This one's Maybelline Water Shine Gloss Cotton Candy or 157 Rosewood Blush. I really don't know. I'm trying to go with the lightest one. We'll go with this one. It's the lightest one out of the two. Maybe need a bit lighter. Should have had a lighter one, but that's fine. Let's see if I can make it lighter. That's it. All I'm doing is adding white eyeshadow, and it's you can easily transfer white, you can easily transfer eyeshadow to your lips. It's safe, but lip products to the eyes, it's the wrong way around. You shouldn't do that. But I think that's how it goes. But there you go. I really hope you enjoy. I'm going to put the brows on, maybe a bit, they're very light on her, so I don't want to darken these up and change the look. You know, it would help if I put mascara on, wouldn't it? I bet we've passed 20 minutes now. But anyway, so I'm just tip my head back and really get the mascara in there as close to the lash line as possible without getting the skin and wrecking the look. Get under there. I need a smaller brushed mascara for the bottom. See? Quite thick. But there you go. There you have it. This is my Leona Lewis ICU makeup inspired tutorial. 
Really hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any requests, let us know. Write a comment. I'll read them all. I just don't have time to reply to them all. But if you look at them out, you'll see and you'll understand, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let us know. And I'm going to switch off now and see you all in a bit for the next tutorial. The happy Valentine's one. Zoom, zoom.